Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab, and in this orthodontic video, I am going to show you how I make my polka dot retainers. Quick uh, note about polka dot retainers this is not the only way that I make them, there's actually two other ways that I make them that I might have videos for in the future. But this is a two part acrylic polka dot construction. I like this way because I get less bubbles when I'm doing my acrylic work. And why I'm adding my acrylic base layer and clear um, for the beginning of my polka dot retainer, I want to remind everyone to please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn your notification settings on so you are notified whenever I make a new video. I also appreciate any comments, shares, and likes that helps the channel grow and makes me want to produce more videos. So thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. At this point, I'm going to carve out the portion of the acrylic that I'm not going to be using in the retainer just to save some trimming time. Now I'm going to throw this guy in the pot at 165 degrees for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim my retainer, remove some of the bulk acrylic on a lathe, high speed lathe at high speed. And I'm going to remove enough acrylic where it's going to be about 3.5 millimeters compared to a normal retainer where I trim it down to about two and a half millimeters to two millimeters. That's really important so you can add the polka dots in the next step. This next step, I like to use a e-cutter to trim the retainer with a handpiece, a high-speed handpiece at about 31 RPM. Again, I'm taking this down to about three millimeters thick rather than the normal two to two and a half millimeters thick. In this next step, all I'm doing is just randomly drawing circles where I'm going to drill out my holes for my acrylic work. My different colors of acrylic. There's no rhyme or reason for the pattern, it's just where I try to dodge the wires. That's really important because you're not drilling circles on the wire. I use a circular burr. My holes are drilled about one and a half millimeters into the acrylic. Make sure that you do not go all the way down to the pallet. And I'll remount the holes that are eventually going to be filled in with colored acrylic. Again, if you noticed, I, I put all my circles away from the wires in the retainer. That way I avoid hitting the wires and causing damage to the retainer. Here I'm going to go ahead and add my colored polymer. And I displace the colors evenly, otherwise it will, the retainer will look crowded and it won't come out as nice. It's really important to work fast and to not allow air bubbles. Just a quick side note, I'm using colored polymer. You could use 
colored monomer with clear acrylic if you wanted to do this process and make uh, the colors vibrant too. That also works. This step is really important. I put a nice layer of clear monomer over my circles and I freeze them with clear polymer. That way there's no slumping when it goes back in the pressure pot. Again, I put in the pressure pot 165 for another 10 minutes. A heated pressure pot. Now my retainer is out of the pressure pot and I'm ready to finish. I'll put another, I'll use my e-cutter again. I'll lightly go over it. I'll remind you, I am taking down the three millimeters to make it two and a half to two millimeters thickness. And if done correctly, at this point, you will have no bubbles in your acrylic. This is a technique that needs to be practiced. Practice makes perfect. This isn't the first one I've ever made. This is probably my I can't even count how many. So it definitely takes some practice and a learning curve. And your key to success is to just keep being repetition, repetition over and over and over. So I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel to see more orthodontic videos. And if you have any topics that you want me to make videos for, Drop me a note in the comments section, subscribe to my channel, check out my Instagram page and you can see other um, pictures of my retainers and orthodontic appliances and I'll give you some ideas to um, help me out. So thanks again for watching. And last but not least, in this video I did not pumice, in, I did not do the pumicing stage and I will save that for another video. And this is my polishing from the final product. Thank you.